All right, Jesse on Fire, welcome back to the channel. Now, I bet everybody's been waiting for this because this is going to be my official prediction for the Conor McGregor and Dustin Poirier fight because now I have a full picture. I didn't have a full picture before. I didn't know what the hell I was looking at, right? You have mysterious Connors not showing up. You got all, basically, look, if you pay really close attention to my content, then you already know the things that I've said, right? On Instagram, I said, I think Connor's going to win. And I said that because I think his boxing was really good. I think he had like this literally one thing that he has to address, which is the calf kicks. And I think he wins. And as a result, I think he's going to win, right? I think he'll be able to adjust the calf kicks. Who knows? Maybe he'll land calf kicks himself or he'll learn how to check, you know, whatever. Like if he's only got this one thing to worry about, I think he's going to figure it out and I think he'll do well. Then I saw the Dustin Poirier responses to him saying whoever shoots first is a dusty bitch. And I was like, damn, Dustin's in a good spot, man. He might like he might have Connor. Like he's in a great mental space, maybe good enough that he's going to win. Right. Then uh, then I saw Connor now. Right. Now I've seen Connor. I've actually seen what his approach is, where he's at mentally, what he's been doing. There's no question who I'm picking. As a matter of fact, I bet I bet a lot of money on Connor. I, I, I think Connor's going to win, and I don't think that it's going to be... I don't think they're going to be, like, falling over at the end of the fight, you know, and it's like, oh, my gosh, who do you guys think won that? I think this is going to be that fight that everyone expected the last fight to be, where Connor decisively wins. That's my guess. That's what I think. Because Connor... Here's the thing, okay? The only thing that I really think I know in this game at all is the people, right? And if you guys go back to January, right? People who are new to my channel now, you go back to January, you look at what I said after the fight. I said, I was like, Connor, the place he's in, he couldn't even get himself to a place where he's like, I wanna destroy these guys because he's won. Like he's, he's, they used to be fighting for the same dream and now they, like he's won. And you're like, how could you possibly have the same killer instinct against a guy? And Connor's killer instinct was half the battle for him, right? And he even just said it in an interview that I saw. He's like, I, he said, I felt sorry for him. And I, and I believe him. I believe him a hundred percent because that's exactly what I saw. When I was watching, I was like, you know, I didn't say he'd feel sorry for him, but that's what I'm thinking. I'm like, dude, he would have to be a psychopath to want to go out and destroy Dustin Poirier in this fight, given where he's at and given where Dustin's at. He would actually have to be crazy. Not anymore, okay? Not anymore, right? Dustin knocked him out, okay? If that, I mean, if that's reason right there. That, that supersedes, oh, I have a lot of money and he doesn't have as much money as me. Like, the, the, like he knocked him out in front of the whole world. And then, then Dustin said he didn't donate to the charity and then Dustin said all this shit about, like, dude, and then now we find out Connor doesn't have his family with him and he's steel-eyed. Exactly like I said he's going to be. He's going to be calm, right? He's going to be calm and he's going to calmly say, I'm going to put you in the fucking ground. He said he's going to kill him. He said he's going to turn him into a corpse. I've heard him say that before. But look, like, I was certain Connor was going to win the last fight. Certain. Calf kicks were surprising. But the bottom line is, this is... That one X factor, like, is Connor there mentally? That shit, that is a, uh, that question is answered. And if Connor loses this fight, dude, he's done. I mean, honestly, like, because he looks extraordinarily focused to me. Like, he looks extraordinarily focused. He looks very focused on being the one who wants to punish his opponent like he used to be. And Dustin's a bad man, dude. Dustin is a savage. But Connor, at his peak, is a different animal than any of these motherfuckers, except for guys like Khabib, ice beats fire. I mean, you know, and it's just fucking Khabib. But Connor's a monster, dude. And I, I will say for the 10th, I mean, this time for real, if Connor doesn't win this fight, the Connor of old is not coming back. But I think we're gonna, I think, I feel, like I said, I bet a lot of money on him, dude. Like I bet, I bet a lot of money on Connor after watching a couple of these clips, dude. Here's the other thing. I heard Dustin Poirier talking about um, how he learned about the calf kick, right? And Michael Bisbing saying he had never even eaten a calf kick. He's never thrown one, never had one kicked. And Dustin Poirier said that when he learned about it, it's because Jim Miller kicked his calf and he ended up going to the hospital. He thought his leg was broken. And that's how he learned about the calf kick, right? Connor never been calf kicked, dude, right? And then so Dustin worked it into his arsenal. Do you really think the calf kick is like so high level that Connor can't work a calf kick into his arsenal in six months? Like, does anybody seriously believe that? People are like, oh, it's not enough time. To learn a calf kick? 
What the? What are you talking? Like the calf kick is way easier than a regular, you know, kick behind the hamstring. You, it's easier. Like as a matter of fact, if if you're if you're a fighter and someone goes, hey, you know, if you kick their calf, it's actually really damaging. They don't even need to. Like I mean, yeah, you drill it, but like someone could just go out on the first day and just start kicking their fucking calf, dude. So this idea that Connor like can't do the calf kick or can't won't be ready for the kick, it's it's absurd. It's stupid. Makes no sense. Okay. So I've got Connor. I've got Connor winning. I've got Connor winning, and decisively, I think. I think Connor's gonna win decisively, and I cannot wait to see what he does at this press conference. But anyway, um, yeah, that's what I've got. I love Dustin too, man. Dustin's a savage, but I'm still, I'm still a believer, dude, that Connor at his best is a whole different level, dude. I wanna see it, I wanna see it. So we'll see. Anyway, love you guys, peace.